So we're going to jump into some things, guys. Honestly, this video is not going to be short. We're dealing with a 30-minute Kuma spec. Not even a speculation. This is a breakdown. This is the breakdown. This is about the Kumas. We're going to talk about the Heenans. We're just going to go into the market. We have exciting news today. We're going to break so much news. We can't do I wanted to do a 5 to 10 minute video, guys. You know, I've got a new job and stuff, guys. And, you know, I'm doing good and uh, very good, actually. Getting money, blowing money, and we're throwing money. But that's just a personal thing I deal with, you know. Get your weight up but this is what we're gonna do we're gonna jump into the kuma we got a lot of news to cover guys because people are mad about the oh the market is so volatile bitcoin crash so you know we get all these messages and i just sit there and giggle and you know life goes on actions speak louder than words and time proves everything everything else is talking oh my 200 day moving out i'm not doing all of that i'm not here for that i don't want to be all technical i am not at work so this is what we're gonna do we're gonna deal with the facts the facts of the Hina winning, the facts of the Kuma winning, and the facts of the millions coming real soon. Get your king weight up. Okay, so this is my Kuma cam. I mean, if you're here for the first time, please hit your like button, ring them notification bells, and comment Kuma clan, diamond hands, Hina Inu army. We are still winning, winning, winning. Okay, so we're going to Kuma Inu. We had a 1.8% up for the day, guys. Okay. As you can see, you know, we had a lot of buying pressure recently. I love that little little push up, you know, because what happened? We had a nice sell off, you know, and it's kind of funny, guys, you know, and if any excuse the noise in the back, I'm actually one of the biggest cities in the East Coast right now. Lots of traffic, noise, the cars, when the road by, sometimes the fire truck wants to get on my nerves. Things of that nature. I'm moving in the house soon and just, you know, moving to my little suburban life again. And, you know, that's how it goes. But anyway, people, they chase the goofies, the goo tarts, okay? And then they want to come to me and then talk trash to the big comas or the big heinous, okay? Look, you hear that? VVS, get your fucking weight up. We're not going to talk about all that. Well, no one day we're going to air live and we're going to deal with reality. We're going to deal with the wealth of the Kuma, the wealth of the big Hinas, and get, you know, and that's it. <laughs> you know, that's not, you know, 200 day, get your weight up. Get your weight up. You know, but anyway, we're going to stick to the charts. We're going to go into a couple of things. We're down 70% from the all-time high, guys, okay? Now, hopefully, we've all been updated on the market. doing our own due diligence and research. So, we're going to just talk about the 18. Wow, big deal, 1.8%. Great. We've been at the 59. We called the rise. We called many things. Okay, we had all of these 200-day moving master price speculators, and they all failed recently. Why? Because the market is reactive to the people. We've talked about that. So I'm not surprised if a market crashes due to bad news. You know, that's why I don't go into these, you know, these guys with these charts. They want to mark them all up and do this and do that and say this. But every time you, you know, it's like, it's called a magician's trick. Except from New York City. So we're, I'm from a fast city. There's a lot of talking. I want results. And the results, you know, your actions do not add up to the words, and life goes on. You know, I'm not going to say any names. Life goes on. Okay. This channel is for when after you, you know, you get, you, you know, you want to get in your technicals and you want to be a geek and you want to go into your little chart. You want to see a market chart on the screen and, and it makes you feel comfortable as you're getting ripped off. But you come back to the crypto clan, Kuma Inu, Hina Inu army when you want to win, when you want to have an open discussion, things of that nature. Okay. So right now, Hina Inu, we're at the 9.6% up for the day, guys. We're at the 13. Of course, we were at the 20, the 30, the, you know, we can talk about all that. We were waiting for the breakout. What is the news for the Heenas? What are we dealing with? We have great news coming in for the Heenas. We got amazing news coming in for the Kuma, okay? So we just got to break this down in the right way. I got some people that obviously you're not going to sit here for the whole discussion because this is going to be a pretty long discussion because we have a lot of news to cover. So what we're going to do is this. We're going to get straight to the core of this, and we're going to say go into Hina Inu. Hina Inu. Official hot bit listing in six hours, 26 minutes and counting, guys. Tell them to get their weight up. We're at the second listing within six months. Okay? Okay. You know, that is it. Compliance. You see, this website is, this, this community is fully transparent. These developers are fully functional. They're not going quiet on us, ignoring us. They're not being arrogant. Oh, I'm rich. I'm better than you. You know, this is how people do. When they, you know, it's like when, when in doubt, just throw your money in people's face. 
You know, because people are like, oh, God, well, I want you to do a crypto trade. I want you to really get a price analysis about, you know, I need to see the 200. You know, they want to see this. They want me to go into these charts and I laugh at these guys. Get your weight up, you know. Oh, you want me to do this? You want me to go? It's like I got to download the app, but then I got to go ahead and mark the charts and do this and put the little circle. I'm, not, I'm just not here for it. I'm about the money. Get your weight up, okay? Get your money. And then we can, you know, life goes on because it's about getting the job done. So when I work at jobs, the worst people like me, I am here to get my job done. I've been in class with, the, you know, Tom, Dick, Harry, and all these guys, and, you know, all these degrees. And get your job done. That's what us New Yorkers do. We just get the job done. We're not here to, you know, you can say it, you can twist it, flip it, bop it. This is not a toy. This is not a game. Get your job done. Okay, so we're going to deal with the fact that Hena has a new listing. Okay, in the middle of the storm. I'm saying Hena Inu going to be pushing hard, pumping hard in the green while the whole market is down. Why is the market down? You should be up on this, but if not, we're going to talk about the scammers. Now, notice, right? This is how shallow and slow people are. They, It's like, I got to wrap it up. For, I'm not here to do that. It's like, I got to wrap it up and, you know, put my glasses on and go live and, yeah, man, you know, 200K moving average. And I'm just not, you know, uh, I've been posting, as you can see from my prior videos, I've been posting about the scammers. You see, I'm never off. It's actually a joke. And if you're here for the first time, you're welcome to the Crypto Clan official meme channel, guys, where we cover the Hina, we cover the big alpha dog, Kuma, and then we cover the Hina, which is a rising star. And we're going to be covering some things in the future. We only cover the stars. So actually, everybody that's in this thing right now, clap, clap, clap. Welcome to the future millionaires. If you're actually with the Hina and with the Kuma, you should be in position. You're on the bull's back before it ever took off. That's why we're here. It's been here just, we're just here for narcissism and stuff like that. You know, we're here to brag about it later in the future. To be like, hell, we've been with the, the Kuma and the Hina like years ago. You know, like when this one channel, you know, oh, been with those coins since 2017. You know, that's what people do. I respect it, though. Clap, clap for you, too, guy. So, you know, when you're down at this point, you're going to ignore us as we're ringing the bells. And then once the truth smacks you in the face, you're going to catch up. Okay, so from Bitcoin volatility to multi-million dollar hack, seven crypto updates you should know about. Seven crypto updates you should know about. And if you're here for the first time, welcome to the meme channel. Please hit that like button, ring your notification bells, and comment Kuma Clan Diamond Heads. Hina Inu Army. We are in the building, guys. We are so much in the building right now. Okay, so this is what we're going to talk about, all right? Let's just... We're just going to see, you know, it's going to bounce around here, okay? Overall, the crypto market took a hit over the weekend. Bitcoin, largest crypto by value, plunged to a low of 43000 Price has since bounced back and is currently trading around forty nine. So you could have made a couple bucks there. Great. You know, ETH, you know, went from 35 41 100 give or take. You could say 41 I had to 79 take the 79 you can rub it on your chest it's 79 bucks i really don't you know it doesn't move me a metaverse land sale top 100 million in a week virtual real estate has increasingly become a hot commodity sales of nfts and non-fungible tokens representing metaverse lands surpassed 100 million dollars in the last week alone crypto analytics firm dap radar reported on tuesday that's great guys so the nfts is on the rise okay the sandbox and Ethereum based metaverse. And if you're here for the first time and you didn't go to the Hina, you're playing with the Hinas. I'm telling you now. Uh, hmm. I think I'm liking this NFT thing. And once again, I'm on a financial advisor. No, no, awful financial advisor. Just give you thoughts, ideas, types of plays I'm into, things of that nature. Get you, you know, you know, when people start talking, it's like, bro, uh, Guy, uh, when he, you know, Kuma went and did his little run, uh, we, we, uh, we crossed over with the, you know, the Kuma. Of course, I'm always diamond hands, but I already took mine. Get your weight up, you know. So I haven't lost any of these markets yet. Flawless victories, okay. So you got your NFTs here also with the Hina. So just keep in mind, guys, because we have, you know, we're at the birth of something great. So I'm just want you to, you know, just keep that in mind. Use your little NFTs right on the website. You got to look at the crystal predictions. Oh, wow. They're predicting this. Wow. 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 So Jack Dorsey, Square Changes, Corporate Name to Block. Okay. Renounced on Wednesday, Jack Dorsey's payment company, Square, announced it renaming itself Block. Okay. Great deal. Boom. 
big deal. Who cares about that? This is another great thing right here, which we're really focused on. We're going to get to the focus of what we need to benefit us. You know, everybody has a goal in life. The doctor is not smarter than the heart surgeon. The heart surgeon is not smarter than the helicopter flyer. The helicopter fly is not, you know, everybody is going to specialize in something. And that's what people forget to realize. Person to think, oh my God, he doesn't know about computers and he's not that smarter. Okay, well, uh, I can't tell that to a mechanic because he's going to look at me foolish like, well, you don't know how to build a car, so you're not that smart. And guess what the survivalist is going to do if we all fall in the jungle? He's going to laugh at us as we starve and die and freeze. And he's going to be like, wow, y'all didn't know how to survive in the jungle? <laughs> and just disappear on us in the forest. So just be, keep an open mind here, guys. And if you're here for the first time, please hit your like button, ring the notification bells, and comment. He not a new army hot bit listing. We're going to the moon. Kumas. Okay? So Facebook retreats from crypto ad ban. Okay? So basically, also on Wednesday, Facebook, which is now called Meta, called Meta, oh wow, announced its decision to no longer ban cryptocurrency companies from running ads on this platform. So this is great news for all projects. You know, maybe y'all want to go and talk to the, the Hinas or discuss this with the Kumas. You know, a lot of these, I like these little trailers that these, you know, these uh, these groups release about their projects. So, you know, these trailers can now be added to Facebook and you can run an ad on it, you know. So, you got your digital billboard right there. You can just go upload Facebook. You know, I know a couple artists who do that. They promote their music like this. You just run an ad on that and just shoot it to the moon. Because tis the season to be Kuma. Huh? The Kumas want to play and they want a Ferrari. Get your weight up you know d project badger d-a-o hacked losing about 120 million dollars yes we're moving on we want to try to compact all the information guys okay so on wednesday night badger d-a-o decentralized autonomous organization focused on bridging bitcoin with decentralized finance applications reportedly hacked losing about 120 million dollars comas Hidden eyes, according to blockchain security and data analytics firm Perk Shield. Now, I can honestly just go, you know, I can be petty and I can click on my videos and I laugh at all of the people that, oh my God, I'm, I'm so shocked. Oh, I've been screaming and ringing the bell about cryptocurrency scams for the last two weeks. But if I don't put, oh, big kuma, big hina, you know, people try to ignore the videos, who cares? That's, you know, uh, learning the future and uh, we're always winning. Uh, we're never really off, so jokes is really on, you know, <laughs> uh, money in the bank. You know, I see a lot of these guys, they're going to be more of dealing with nostalgia when we're going live in the future and we're throwing Kuma in their face. We're throwing blue Hinas in their face. And man, you know, then the joke's on them. Oh my God, this guy's is so freaking rich off of this. And, you know, it's like, come on, guy. You know, uh, I believe a smart follower is way better than a foolish leader. Okay, guys, remember that. So, we got one hack here. Hackers take 196 million from crypto exchange Bitmark. Okay, guys, crypto exchange Bitmark was hacked. The company confirmed in a statement on Saturday night. They knew this. See, before we get the news and you start seeing this all over, when you start seeing stocks plunge, you got to realize you got your insiders and people that's close. Oh, my God. So it's like spreading like a virus. So by the time you see these articles, which, of course, I could have shared a couple of days ago, like I said, I've been working. But uh, you see these things going on. And, yes, we're going in on the Hina real soon. Yeah. And I'm already in on the Hina, but uh, we're doubling down. Kuma Hina double down. Kuma Hina double down. Two grand, three grand, four grand. Get your weight up. Get your king weight up. Okay, Coma. So what now is calling this the largest security breach? Bitmark estimated that hackers withdrew about $150 million. But Pexio estimates that loss is closer to $200 million. Of course, they want to minimize the embarrassment. In a statement, Bitmar said that all withdrawals have been temporarily suspended. And a security review is underway, which is going to cause immediate panic. Nobody wants their money frozen, of course, in this statement. Now, the funny thing is, right, once you're here for the first time, peach hit your like button, ring them notification bells, and comment, Kuma Clan, Diamond Hands, he not e new army, bit, mad, bit, 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 hot, bit, hot, bit, going to the moon, going to the moon. So, you have to think of these things. Get your job done. 
my job was done. I rang the bells about the scammers, and then they attacked. These are things that go beyond the average understanding. Because people come to this channel, they want to see the squiggly lines and all of this. Not understanding I'm here... Once again, I'm out of financial advice. I'm not off of financial advice. I'm here to deliver the facts to myself. Okay? I'm here to line my pockets with the henna. Line my pockets with blue kumas. That is it. VVS... <laughs> Keep on, so you know, I'm here to enhance existence. So I am not, if I know I have a million dollars, right, in a car trunk, right, and we're walking, if I got to scream and yell to, if somebody has to scream and yell to convince somebody for 10 days they got a million dollars in that car, I'm not going to believe you. Confidence is just confident. Confidence is often arrogance. Like people get mad the Kumas don't update. Oh, the Kuma, they ain't updating this because they're confident. Confidence can be misconstrued as arrogance, you know? So it's a thin line between both, you know? It's like, what do I got to prove to you? So if I got a hundred million dollars in this trunk here in this car parked in the right believes me, I'm going to take my car and I'm going to leave it all of my money. Oh man, can I get some money? No, you should have believed me. Uh, have a great day. That's how life goes. It's like dreams. When you dream about something, people don't believe you, you achieve it. You don't owe them people anything, okay? That is it, okay? Billionaire Charlie manages to say he wishes cryptocurrencies had never been invented. Billionaire investor Charlie Munger. Still isn't a fan of cryptocurrency. I wish they never were invented. You know, this is the fun. You know, you got influential people. So we're at a, we're going through a volatile part, not just in the stocks. We're dealing with volatile news. We got good news. We got bad news. You got the NFTs going crazy, 100 million. You got this, you know. So you're going to deal with these things. According to her, I admire the Chinese. I think they may shut up. They probably paid you off. I'm just not going to go into that article. Sorry, guys. I'm not even going to keep to reading this, this rubbish. Like, you know, if existence were just you, then the human race will not. I use this narcissistic thoughts here. This is what happens with this. You know, I'm a billionaire, so just listen to me. Like, okay, no. Have a great day. You know, so with that being said, we have to look at this news that's impacting the market. You got your bad, you got your bad, of course, you got your your bad, then you got two goods. Okay, so Facebook is allowing crypto to be promoted. That's very, very good for these crypto projects coming up. Facebook is a extremely great promotion tool. Because if you access Facebook, you access Instagram. Put a post up, you hit promote, now you're reaching thousands of people. You can put a post up on Instagram or Facebook, and you can put a thousand bucks behind it and reach millions of people. Okay, so we have your good, 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 bad, bad news. Okay, I mean, it's a mix of both, okay? And then we have clarity. So we're going to go into our clarity here, which is an understanding of Satoshi, the starter of this whole cryptnemic, this whole crypto pandemic we're dealing with here. Who started the ball? Bitcoin, of course, is for the time. Miami Jews, Miami jury rules in favor of Craig Wright, who claimed to invent Bitcoin. Australian computer scientist Craig Wright prevailed in a Miami civil case that pitted him against the family of his late business partner and computer forensic expert David Kleiman. At stake was half or both the 1.1 million Bitcoin mined and held by Satoshi. A catch currently worth around $54 billion. Wow. A man who has claimed to be the inventor of Bitcoin just won a major U.S. court case, saving him from paying a former business partner tens of billions of dollars in cryptocurrency. Australian computer scientist Craig Wright implied in a 2016 blog post that he was Satoshi Nakamoto, the item used by the person or persons who developed Bitcoin. Many in the crypto community are skeptical of Wright's claim, in part because he has not moved any of the early Bitcoin presumed to have been mined by Satoshi. On Monday, Wright prevailed in a Miami civil case that pitted him against the family of his late business partner and computer forensics experts David Kleinman. At a stake was at stake was of the half one point half of the one point one million Bitcoin mined and held by Satoshi. A cash currently worth around fifty four billion. The state also claimed right to some of the intellectual property behind early blockchain technology. Prosecutor argued that Kleiman was a co-creator of Bitcoin alongside Wright and Thailand to half of Satoshi's assumed fortune. A federal jury in West Palm Beach sided with Wright and declined to award any of the Bitcoin to Klein's estate. However, Wright was ordered to pay $100 million in compensatory damages over a breach in intellectual property rights related to W and K Info Defense Research LLC, a joint venture between the two men. That money will go directly to W and K, okay, whatever, rather than climbing a state. Hmm. 
absorbed this as I'm reading this, guys. Okay, so you have to look at these stories. You see, I'm absorbing them, reading it. And I'm just like, you know, I'm the type of guy I read, and then I start seeing pictures. And, you know, I'm a very deep reader. I, had a, like, I was like the highest reader in my school, you know. So uh, when I read, I actually start seeing things. It's like watching TV. I start seeing visuals, pictures, and, you know, it's like watching TV. It's crazy. But uh, pretty cool. One of my cool little talents I got. But my thing is this, right? I'm looking at, as I'm talking and reading, I'm thinking about the way investors perceive this. Is it good? Is it bad? I'm kind of impartial with it, honestly. It's like, okay, is he selling this Bitcoin or, you know? So that's really what I'm at with it, you know? So we have to keep an eye on that. So all of this news is spinning and spinning and spinning. So this is your update, guys, okay? So you have to absorb all of this news. Once again, I'm not a financial advisor. I don't offer any financial advice. Give me thoughts, ideas, types of things I'm into. Okay, so I'm just going to, you know, please do your due diligence and research. Keep an eye on this news here. You know, as far as none of this Bitcoin was sold, so I don't think that's going to stay off the market. And nor what I've seen about holding such a large catch of Bitcoin selling it off. It's like you're, you're living on a gold mine. You got the, you're the biggest Bitcoin. You know, it's like you're just permanently stuck in a position in Boston. So... I don't really see that being sold off, you know. So we're going to do a quick price analysis. What do I see with Hina? I see Hina regaining traction after the hot bit listing. I'm, you know, I'm seeing it uh, at least doubling, hopefully, you know, getting into the 20s and pushing in a positive direction. Where did this positive direction come from? Where are we at? See, guys, we haven't talked in a while. We haven't talked in a couple of days. But right now, we have, since we've last talked, we've gained over two, 300 holders, guys. We're at the 14, 6. We're at the, you know, we're about to be at 5th. 15,000 holders. We are breaking a major milestone for the Hinas. Kuma Dex coming soon. Kuma Dex coming. So I'm looking for these projects, which also move in conjunction in some form or fashion, if you ask me. And they're always floating around each other. We've talked about this a while ago. That's what made me, you know, keep an eye on them. And I'm at when they one drop, they do drop, you know. So I noticed they're reactive to each other. And I like that. So that's what made me just keep an eye on them. Was well, it a coincidence? You know, over time, that's going to separate the speculation. Oh, they're not moving in conjunction, you know, whatever. Everybody has their opinion of, and we're going to keep throwing money. So with that being said... I'm seeing he know we're gonna eat the dip up. Of course, you get it dip. We grab the chips, you know. So I'm looking at you know next month or so. We're definitely going to increase positions on the he know, he know, yeah, yeah, kuma, yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, I'm going to re-enter and increase positions on the kuma. It's a great buying point right here. What we're going to do real quick. You know, so that's basically the update, guys. You know, you got to do done some research. Of course, we want to get to the facts. When are we going to throw the money? When are we going to throw the kuma? When are we going to rub the kuma in their face? You know, it's just, that's where we're really at with it. And I look at something and I say, oh, this ball is going to be a shot. You know, this, this ball is going in this this hoop. And this is, I'm really just need to, I need to get straight to the facts. Father time. Oh, I'm going to keep talking. Oh, let's get it done. Get the job done. Now, the Kumas, as I spoken about a week ago, before we even talked in a couple days, as you can see, Kuma is consolidating holder-wise. Guys, when we looked at this, we was at like 2,500. Basically, Hina is really, it's like skyrocketing in comparison to the, the and these are both great projects, guys. It it's not a bad thing. You know, it just had a major, major run-up, and it's actually holding all of its position, realistically speaking. You know, I came into Kuma around 8. You know, so just just keep that in mind. You know, huh? Yeah, talk about that. Uh, so it's like it's still holding its position. So that's what I'm seeing. It's like the people that's up those forged diamond hands. So we're looking at nothing but Kuma Dex dropping. I'm looking for this to knock off five thousand to get to thirty thousand holders. Okay, guys. Now as far as the Hina, which is kind of like wow, hmm. Kuma, this the this listing with this Hina. I'm honestly, guys, this is gonna be a very tight. It's not a race, of course. It's not a competition. This is going to be a very tight movement with both of these coins, guys. Mind you, this was sit here, was sat here for a while, guys. I mean, we was, we was at like 13,000 here. Okay, so we've managed to pedal up another catch. You know, we're, we're walking down the Kuma. He nah, yeah, You know, and uh, I'm here to break the news as I get. This is why we was forged and we stood on the front line and became the crypto can with our two ninjutsu blades diamond hands. Why? Because we are not going to be prejudiced. We are not for sale at the crypto clan. 
and we have already been brought. Get your... All right, great. So with that being said, I'm looking at these coins to, honestly, it's going to be a nice tight race right here. It's going to be great. I love both projects, honestly, all the way in the boat. So it doesn't really matter who wins, but great. Actually, let's both the Kumas and the Hinas win, and let's kick all of these other coins out of the space, if you ask me. And uh, the, that's it. You know, we can split the split the earth. You know, we can just kick them off somewhere else in the space and, you know, shoot them off in a rocket. We don't got to see the other guys. You know, that's how I look at it. So it's not like we're in a competition with us. It's enough space for both of us to stretch our wings, our little dog paws, our little kumas, our little hinas, okay, things of that nature. But uh, that's really where we're at, guys. So you got to keep an eye on that. Keep an eye on, you know, you do your price analysis, but please keep an eye on you also, you know, what you're doing with your price analysis with these coins. Keep an eye on this because hina has, oh, hina's dip, even though hina has dipped, and we talked about the holders as, in comparison, as fuel to a rocket. These projects shot up when it was around 12,000. Next time this project moves, anticipation, excitement, it's going to move with the force of a whale. Splash. You know, so that's just keep in mind, guys, because this all occurred on the dip. These, these, this large amount of holders, these people that's entered the space is just like, wow, it's moving. I've seen Shiba Inu at these. You know, I've seen Shiba Inu. Oh, it's 25,000. Like, I don't even know where it's, it's crazy. So it's the compounding effect of holders. I heard Shiba Inu broke a million holes. I'm like, how the heck it do that effect? Because compounding, it's like a virus. It goes from one to two, two to four, four to eight, eight to sixteen. You know, it's just keep. That's the compound. Thirty-two, sixty-four. You know, that is the compounding effect. One twenty. Yeah, it keeps going and going. So we're looking at a doubling of a double of a double. So just keep that in mind. Okay, but I'm not going to hold you too long. And if you're here for the first time, please hit that like button, ring the notification bells, and comment Kuma Clan, Diamond Hands, Hina Inu, Diamond Hands. And if you're here for the first time, welcome to the Crypto Clan official meme channel where we just give you what's going to win. Oh man, how did he know? Uh, we're not even here to talk about that. Oh my gosh, you know, I ignored all his other videos. He just might have been talking too long, but he did warn about all the crypto scammers and. Maybe I did, you know, we already, I rung the bell about the scammers. Am I moved about the scammers? No. I rung the bell about, you know, I'm just tired of, it's, it's kind of corny. Because we are hinas, we are kumas, some people lost. Some, I'm, not, I'm just here to do my job. You say tomato, they say tomato. Tomato, tomato. I don't give a frick. If you tell me about a business plan or a structural plan in 50 different languages, great. It all sounds different, but it's all the same information. So you can squiggle your lines, we can do this and that, but at the end of the day, uh, we already talked about crypto scammers. I'm not surprised, it's been a mass emails, they've been attacking the market. You have to gauge, you see, when you're social, right, I'm talking about when I was mentioning the scammers and you know, oh, I'm gonna ignore the crypto scammer video because I'm just wanna talk about when I'm getting paid. I know everybody loves that, oh, 1,000x. When I say Kuma's going up 600%, of course we're gonna do 1,000 views in a day. It's greed, people motivated by greed, but protect yourself. The reason I put them crypto scammer videos up, I knew that words are going to go, oh my God, I want to listen to it. No, people look at a crypto scammer, okay, I'm going to brush it off. It's not going to happen to me. That's what they all say. But this is because I was receiving large amounts of information about scammers. I felt it coming, guys. I felt it was just, we was getting attacked. Everybody, it was a the storm. Now, of course, these big exchanges, oh, I'm a big exchange. It don't apply to me yet. No. You who they want first. So if they're attacking little guys like me, we, I just showed you emails. I mean, these guys sent me thousands of emails, and I said other, I had hundreds of other people at my job. Oh, my God, what is all these emails? You know, I, I run a, you know, we talk at our job, and we, we kind of move in one faction and stuff like that. We do, you know, there's a couple of us that are heaners, you know, more than at least 60. I know at least 60. In real life, 60 heaners. I know at least 100 kumas so with that being said it's like when these of all of my kumas and my hinas in real life that we you know we sit down we drink oh my god i'm this deal with hina you know crypto is the future you know you know we talk we drink a little stuff and we you know we gel so if all of them is being attacked that means the market is being attacked so what's the coincidence well this out of the whole world is attacking us of course they're attacking everybody so big exchanges got hit big deal now what's going to happen is we've talked about this with every action is a reaction that scammers are going to keep attacking to every hole is sealed in the space so in the future we will not have these problems but this is a new technology we're going to keep getting attacked but once the attacks are done you hit me with a right okay 
You hit me again. Okay, let me cover my right. You hit me with a left. You say we're boxing. You hit me with a left. Okay, let me cover my left. Okay, now you need me in my, oh my God, let me put a cup pad on so you don't need me in my private. So you're going to, it's with every action is a reaction. This is time. It happened with the credit cards. We talked about this. It went from regular credit cards. Now you see the chips. That's because of scammers and swipers. And it's not going to stop. If you ever seen the movie, catch me if you can with the checks. The check industry got hit by, for, by it. Now you could barely... Do a fraudulent check. You don't hear about people being multi-billionaires off a of fraudulent check. It's not possible. So this is a new technology. So this is what you're dealing with. Not surprised. We've talked about that. So with that being said, please enjoy your day. Enjoy your night. And we're going to keep you updated upon the launch of Hotbit. Kuma, Inu, Hina, Inu, Diamond Hands. Like, comment, and get these videos out there to protect these guys, man. Let's protect these guys, all right?